Welcome to Lifestyles Plus. Today, we meet an amazing actor and singer and by the way, he's super cute. Take a peek at what's new for Ferrari and find out how Gucci and Balenciaga are trending in the virtual world. All of this and so much more coming right up. Everyone and welcome to Lifestyles Plus, the magazine of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, EWM Realty. I'm your host, Olga Villaverde. My first guest is no stranger to traveling the world, meeting fabulous people, and sharing all the new trends and incredible properties for sale. She's also the editor-in-chief of Lifestyles South Florida magazine. I mean, she is so busy, which, by the way, this magazine has recently won the Folio Eddie and Ozzy Awards for their premier issue, which is that one right there over my shoulder. I'm always thrilled to welcome Aneta Novoselsko. Hi, Olga. Congratulations. Nice to see you. Thank you so very much. Oh my gosh. Well, let me be more specific because yes. this is exciting, it right? Is, yes. Lifestyle South Florida magazine was nominated and won two mm -hmm. Folio, Eddie, and Ozzy Awards for Best New Magazine Launch. Totally, totally. And Best Cover Design Volume One. Correct. What does that mean for the magazine? And honestly, Aneta, just for you. Uh, well, um, I have to say that I'm very grateful for uh, the colleagues I have, um, Marissa Bezel, uh, Desi, and um, Chelsea, who've helped us with the layout, and um, obviously for Berkshire Hathaway, uh, EWM, for supporting it. But what it means for us is that we're not going to rest on our laurels, and I think the best is yet to come. And for me, it's definitely a highlight of my career. I'm incredibly proud of what we've done here. It's, it's getting better and better, but we're in such a wonderful place. Bravo, bravo. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Now, in this edition that we're talking about, you take a look at Ferrari. A lot of people just think of the car, but it's not just the car. It's not just that brand, right? Right. Um, so, actually, their flagship in Florida is in Aventura Mall, and it's recently been revamped, and it's very much aligned with their new kind of futuristic idea of what Ferrari can be. And it's no longer just cars. They're really embracing their lifestyle brand, which now looks like um, something we'll be wearing, um, very much aligned to, mm. to look a lot like the cars. Um, the new design director has really taken it into a new direction and very wearable, very cool, very tech savvy. It's, nice. it's a great line, yes. Love it. And there's also a boutique in LA as well, right? Right. And actually, two are flagships uh, in the United States that, that sort of speak to the new revamp of the brand. Now, Lifestyles is always in the know. There's an article called Skins in the Game. Yeah. It discusses avatars and designers jumping on board. What's this craze all about? Um, it's definitely the future, although the future is now. Um, it's um, we actually uh, localizing the story with. Uh, metaverse group that um, did a collab with uh, the Miami Fashion Week that took place over the summer and it's a lot of sort of dressing of your avatar and designer brands that you can buy online and wear digitally or actually buy the tangible product it's a lot of kind of crossover but the future is very much uh, in the meta space and um, people really wanting to look their best in in tangible format very interesting speaking of uh, looking their best and you've taught me a lot about fashion. The magazine also features um, an interior designer. If I say it incorrectly, I'm sorry. John Louis Daigneault. You did very well. Thank you very much. He's created beautiful home settings all over the world. Tell me about that. Um, he is uh, a fantastic example of uh, a Frenchman who has lived here for a long time, and he's brought this French flair, coincidentally the title of the article, uh, to his interiors. He really designs with this sort of sense of theatricality, uh, understated uh, in some way, but he he also celebrates sort of the Miami of the 50s and the 60s, mm. so a lot of kind of details and very rich kind of va va uh, type of interiors. It's not your plain white minimalism at all. Um, understated, but still very robust and memorable. Okay, and we cannot finish without talking about your trip, uh, your summer to the south of France. Mm. <laughs> How gorgeous was that? It was everything one would think it was, uh, beach, sand, beautiful people, food, food, wine. But I think the thing that I took away this summer was um, the conversations people are having around tables and the art of conversation being alive and well there. And uh, that's, uh, that's a great thing. It's a beautiful area. I would have to say it's one of my favorite spots favorite places. Yeah, so next summer you come and stay with me. I would like that yeah. invitation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right now. You'll take me with you? Of course. All right. Thank you. Again, thank congratulations you. on the honor. Thanks. It was beautiful yeah. and well-deserved and more to come. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Well Thanks. deserved. Thank you. Coming up, a fashion designer who turned her unique style into a lifestyle and fashion brand. Hmm. More fashion here. Yes. Don't go away. My next guest worked in the fashion world for many years when she realized she wanted to do more. She went out on her own to create and inspire with her line called Fine Frenchie, featuring everything from silk scarves, pillows, and limited edition prints to custom made gowns, dresses, and flirty fun tops. I am so pleased to have Valeria Crasavina. She believes the key to her success is making people feel special through her designs. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. I am just loving everything everything I see here. I love how you kind of just took the initiative to move on to do something more. Tell me what inspired you to finally come to this. Um, well, I've been always artistic and... I can see it. <laughs> and uh, Fine Frenchie, honestly, came very sudden to my life. And I have a French bulldog who inspired me to create oh. this character, uh, who is fashionista Frenchie. And uh, I draw her in different scenarios, wearing all the designer clothes, but also the purpose of the brand to make you feel something, to smile, you know? And especially right now with everything <laughs> that's uh, happening, I think that's very important to not forget to smile. And at Fine Frenchie, which is a Miami store, you offer these great gift ideas. I mean, this one is adorable. Strike a pose, and there's the... Madonna. <laughs> Madonna is a Frenchie. Striking this a pose. Too cute. <laughs> Tell me about... I mean, hello. Look at this. That's the sleeping mar mask we did a uh, collaboration with Morgan Lynch. She's oh. a New York-based brand. That was one of the first collaborations that I did, uh, which is great, you know, with, like as me as a being small brand collaborating with bigger brands gives me an opportunity. And it's great that the bigger brands recognize me as well. Beautiful coasters, cards, and I read here some celebrities have actually a uh, begin, they're really liking this, uh, yeah. Whoopi Goldberg, yes, Lady yes, Gaga. Yes, yes. How happy were you? I mean, that's that's huge. It's amazing, yeah. But you know, we, it's all like, I all get connected to people through that love for animals, for dogs. And I think it's very, you know, good hearted energy. And in addition to wonderful ideas, you then now embarked on clothing. Clothing. Well, clothing, I've always been doing clothing. Um, that was my number one profession. But you're making it fun. Yes, thank and you. very unique. <laughs> Talk to me about, first thank of all, tell you. me what you're wearing. I love this. So this is uh, uh, one of a kind tops that I make. I, cre I um, developed this technique that only I know how to make. Look how uh, fun this thank you, is. Thank you. They are, they are meant to be fun. They are meant to be make you feel confident. And when you walk into the room, uh, of course, all attention is on you. Um, so that's the purpose of my clothing to make you feel very special. It's beautiful. Okay, Thank talk you. a little bit more about everything else here. Uh, so this is uh, one of the custom dresses that I did. This is from Taffeta. Um, it's, I mean, it's very amazing, the combinations of colors and the great thing that you feel comfortable. Yes. You know, you feel comfortable, but at the same time it has slits. And you, you walk a into a room and everyone's going to look at you. Exactly. Which is what exactly. we want. You know, like, girl needs her attention yes. here and there. I gotta say, I love this one. Thank this you. is really cute. Tell thank me about you, this piece. You. So what this is a co cocktail version of this dress. And because I do work with the tool, so um, this is a combination of all my designs in one. Um, I also have... <gasps> Look at this fun top. Oh my gosh. This is yes, so great. So if I wore this, everybody would be like, Olga, where'd you get that? Me? Where did I get that's it? That always happens. Right. That always happens, yes. Uh, so this is a twist version on the t-shirt, basic t-shirt, and then I put some tool work on it, and it becomes that conversational piece. You know, when you work into the room, people do ask you, wow, I got this at that? Fine Frenchie. That's where I got this. <laughs> Fine Frenchie. Well, the, the name of my line, it's Valeria Krasavina. The, so I the have store. two. Yeah, I, ha I, have, I have Fine Frenchie, the illustration brand, and then I have my clothing, Valeria Krasavina. What I love about this, and I just see just how the whole mission comes together, that you just really wanted to do something unique, something that would make people feel special. And even, like you said, make them smile. Yeah, and feel something. And, and thinking those both brands, you know, Fan Frenchie and my clothing, you know, it's very special because I make most of the things myself and um, I give the piece of my inner world to people and I want to embrace that and make them feel 
very special. It's a positive energy that I yes. feel with all of this. Yes, thank you so yes, much. Of course, thank Beautiful you. Beautiful stuff. Thank you. I love it. And I don't know, but can, can I? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. This of course. is too cute. <laughs> Up next, is Miami real estate still the hottest market? Hmm, we're going to find out. And later, singer, actor, and model Jen Carlos Canela. I can't wait. All right. On Lifestyles Plus, we love to delve into the finer things, and today we're talking about a sprawling Miami estate which features a movie room, an old world walk-in wine cellar and bar, a billiard room, and a master bath with closets that were featured in Architectural Digest. Here to talk about this amazing property that's right down the street from me, our Berkshire Hathaway Home Services EWM President and CEO Ron Sheffield and Realtor Jeannie Montes de Oca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for being for here. Us. Thank you. All right, I know this is the gorgeous house we're gonna be talking about, but before we do, and wow, that is extraordinary, Jeannie. I want to hear all about it. Ron, I want to just first talk to you about the changes that we've seen since you came last, right? Interest rates have changed. Uh, they've risen. Tell me your concerns with that. And also just are homes still increasing in value? Lots to pack in there. Well, it starts with the interest rates, I think. Uh, a year ago, you could borrow money at 3%. Uh, a million dollar loan uh, at 3% monthly payment for the principal and interest is $4,200 a month. Then at 7% interest rates, you can only borrow about $650,000 right. instead of a million dollars. So it erodes about 35% of your bar borrowing power. But we are growing. We're, we're growing inventory quite a bit. Uh, in the million dollar plus category for all three counties, uh, inventories are up 60, 70 percent. That's going to soften, you know, these increases uh, somewhat. A reality that's happening. Okay, well, I cannot afford this, but this is gorgeous, <laughs> Jeannie. So let's talk yeah. about this uh, amazing home. It features five bedrooms and five baths yes. and has amazing features as well. So let's start with the theater room. So this, oh my gosh. Yes, this home has a, a beautiful theater room that they custom made with the finest finishes. It's all, it is soundproof, great room to even sleep, to take your siesta in, because it's so quiet in there. But uh, seats 11 with these very cush uh, leather furniture and a nice big screen uh, and all of the all the bells and whistles for the surround sound. That's where I would want to watch Maverick. Yeah, oh, right? that would be the place. Something like Maverick. Yes, That's yes, the best. Yes. Okay, also there is a bar, a gorgeous walk-in wine cellar. Yes, there is a 500 bottle wine cellar. Um, which and inside of a bill right right next to the billiard room the perfect man cave which leads look at Ron yeah. he's smiling he's like that, that's what I like I usually lose everyone when I get them to this section of the house I can't get I can't get their attention again um, but uh, beautiful billiard area with the wine cellar the theater and then of course the garage that really is the man cave isn't it it's an entertainment house for all all people uh, all ages you know pools tennis courts you know just a, it's a wonderful comfortable place. Well, let's go to the woman cave now, okay? Like master bath, fabulous closets. Fabulous. That's Custom. so necessary. Uh, they were featured in Architectural Digest. Tell me about that. It's just the way that they were designed, the lighting, the way that they, the flow from the master bedroom and into the great, to the bathroom as well, which is very spa-like and, and grand. Um, and they're just beautiful. And this to me, even though I'm not into cars, is my favorite part. Ron, wow. A 15 car garage and he has all those vintage cars? It has uh, four bays and there are, each one is three high. So there's an elevator that takes them up to the, the, to the third level. And you can see from that picture uh, that uh, they're all just meticulously maintained. Are they worth Brand more new. than the house? They're, they're worth more than the house. <laughs> And collectively, you put them all together. I'm sure they are. Jeannie, when you have someone come in to see this, and especially this part right there, do they just go, wow? They go, wow. I can't get them to refocus back on the house. Tell me about the kitchen. Gourmet kitchen.
kitchen. So the kitchen is a gourmet kitchen, has a beautiful saltwater fish tank, lots of, lots of, of natural light, Eden kitchen, uh, the finest appliances that there are. I mean, Sub-zero refrigerators. Sub-zero refrigerator, wolf range oh. and, and wolf appliances. But you know, the home is just wonderful for entertaining. Is it terrible if I just ask what it's going for? Oh, four million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, okay. Well, let me see if I could put an offer soon. On a nice sprawling lot. Thank you so much, Thank Olga. You. Thank you. I appreciate your time, Ron. Thanks again for coming. Thank you. It's fun being here. <laughs> you want to buy it? Ah, uh, yeah. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I can see you living there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Coming up, a man who can sing, act, and model. Oh, and he's the nicest guy ever. And by the way, he's cute too. We'll be right back. My next guest is an entertainment powerhouse. He is an actor, singer, and songwriter who also plays the guitar and piano. His new single, Vida, was just released. His fourth album is on the way, and his first feature film, The Man from Toronto, was recently released on Netflix, where it remained in the number one spot for over a month. He's also the cover model for this edition of Lifestyles South Florida. So cute. Welcome, Jen Carlos <laughs> Canela. Hi. It is so amazing to be here with Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you you're look, here. You look stunning. You look And beautiful. you look great. And I'm going to say you look Thank you so very much. handsome I, without the mustache. I know what you're going to say. Yes, I know. <laughs> they, they said to me, you look so much better without the mustache. I'm like, guys, there's like 20 images of me with the mustache right behind me. How am I supposed to feel about that? I mean, that? you look great both. No, I like it without, so by the thank way. You, thank Love you without much. the mustache. Okay, so let's talk about... The cover. Let's do it. What was it like to be like Mr. Model? Oh my goodness! I, a little embarrassing. I I suck at taking pictures. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I I have one pose, one pose only. That's it. And then if, if I if I want to switch it up, I just switch sides. But now it was a great team, um, you know, and it, a beautiful, beautiful property. It and is. The it cars is. were just so magnificent. And we have to talk about cars them. too, because we're going to go way back in time in just a moment about Ford. Oh my goodness! I was <laughs> I was I was in awe, and just the energy that day was was brilliant. It was beautiful, beautiful the pictures. whole team the whole team was incredible well let me tell you incredible is all that you've done uh, I want to cover it all first let's talk about your your voice this new single it's called vida which for people who don't know what that means it means life la yes. vida yes. so tell me about vida I mean it's a song that talks about you know that forever kind of love you know I don't know I, I have I have so many people in my life that make me feel that you know that a hundred years is, you know, not enough. And mm -hmm. I think that's so beautiful. You know, I think about the love I have for my mother and father, the appreciation I have for them, everything they've done for us, for my my little ones. I just, you know, I, I, I can think of spending a lifetime with them and it's still not enough, you know? And, and that's what this song talks about. Can you, you know? just sing a little bit of it, just even the chorus? Vida, hay que me sobrevida en tu compañía Cien años son un día Vida, hay que te sobrevida para darte la mía Cien años son un día mm. Oh my God! Gosh. That's uh, that's the hook of the song. Ay, qué precioso. That's <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my thank gosh. You. Okay, thank you. you you had me at hello. I just no. want you to know. Thank uh, you. Fourth. This is part of the fourth album. Tell this me about is... the fourth album. I mean, that's just amazing. Four. I, I know. It's it's incredible. Look, I've done more albums that never saw the light of day because I started singing in the backyard of my house when I was like six <laughs> years old, and and we did so many experimental. Did you grab like a pencil or albums. a pen or something? Oh, the the comb. The <laughs> comb was my go-to, and this big spoon my mom had in the kitchen yes. that was just that was my go-to mic uh, uh depending on whether i was in the bathroom or the kitchen but yeah we we uh i i say four fourth album out loud and it's uh it's crazy you that's know? great i used to play i used to do this little game with my mom in the car where when the radio uh host used to come on and say and now number one this week she used to stop it and put a song of mine, and we used to pretend that that, that was it. That that was it. That Bye. it was. That it was. So Bye. I love you, mom. That's something Bless a mother you. would do. And I got to live an experience with her where you know the radio. We were listening to the radio in in 2012, I think that was. <gasps> and it came on. 
my first number one on Billboard, and and it came on and said, now coming in this week at number one, Amor Quédate, Jen Carlos Canela. I called my mom, and we, you know, she got emotional and cried. So it was a big full circle moment that, uh, Love that. I'll never forget. So wonderful. Speaking of family, and I want to stick to family, and I know what it means to you. Um, you had a lot of family parties that turned into like local parties oh, yeah. and it just kind of became oh, yeah. bigger. Oh yeah. Oh see. Oh yeah. That's what we do. Listen, Cuban families. Yeah, Cuban families that is what that. we do, baby. We, and Hialeah, this is my hometown. My hometown. I am proudly from La Hialeah. ciudad que progresa. La ciudad que progresa. We were talking about it. Sixth largest city in the state of Florida. Don't sleep on it. Um, but yeah, we, uh, that's oh. how it started for me in the backyard of my house. Uh, on a December 16th, I sang at a family party, and then my dad found out that there was a neighbor throwing a party like three houses down uh, on, on another weekend, and he went and knocked on the door and said, look, my son sings. We'd love to sing a few songs, and if you like it, he could sing at your party. someone at that party that was throwing another party and I literally went from backyard to backyard. You were born to do this. That's all there is to it. Listen, I, I, it, it chose me. I chose it. And I, and I had a, the blessing of a family that supported me, you know, from, from day one. So. Well, can we go back in time now? Let's do it. Okay. So during your sophomore year of high school, oh I looked this up, by the way. Oh, God. If anyone needs to look this up right now, please do. Listen, any sentence that starts that way is, is dangerous. Where, <laughs> you, where is this going? This is great. My you sophomore were, year of high school, a lot of, a lot of things know, happened. What high school was it? New World School of the Arts. Okay, fantastic. Great school. You, there was a songwriting contest, and you oh, wrote God. a song for Ford. Ford! I did. The company. I did. Ride It Like a Ford. That was my song, I yeah. saw the video. It became the official song for years. Whoa! Yeah, it, it became like the slogan. Like it was hot. It became the slogan for Ford. Ride I was, It what, Like a Ford. 16 years old. You just like, came up with that? Yeah. My, my, my buddy, David Mira, and uh, he, he was working for a company that did songs for commercials. And he tells me, they want a song that says Ford a lot. I don't know. Come up with something. We'll send it in. And we sent it in, and they chose it in Spanish and English. And then I ended up being the, the, in, in the actual commercial. And boy, can you dance. You saw that? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, 16 version of me, 16 year old version mm, of me, mm. you know, has some, moves, that, has some you, moves. I'm sure you still do, but it was pretty <laughs> hot. That's all I'm going to say. Ride it like a Ford. Check it out on YouTube. All right. <laughs> now, the Ford commercial, it also, you got involved with Voices for Children Foundation. Yes. I, I love when people get involved with something for children. What was that, and why did you do it? I, I think injecting purpose into what you do. You know, like we forget ambition sometimes, you know, blindsides us. But yes. I think that that ambition, if, it, if it's a tool, uh, to accomplish something greater, something bigger. I, I love what I do, but I love what it, what it allows me to do, you know, more. Uh, it's given me a platform where I can build a sense of community, work with people, get to know other stories, make other dreams come true, um, and show people what it looks like to do what you love for a living instead of doing what you have to do, which is the vast majority of people in this world. I, I never take that for granted. And my parents immigrated to this country, risked everything. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, always, I always made it a point to take advantage of, of the life that I was given, you know, and, and make something of it. And I you really so. made something of it because even at a young age, I mean, this is, I don't know how old you were here, but Buscame was your first album. Yeah. It went gold in three weeks, three weeks, mm -hmm. and reached number one on the Billboard charts. How old were you? And wow, I so mean, young. So young, yeah. I was, I, I was, I gotta say maybe 20. <laughs> Yeah, 2021. I was, I was hey, still. Number one. I, w I had just graduated from high school. I had just graduated from New World, and um, you know this. Th th this was. This is a great story because Rudy Perez, which is you know who discovered me, and and in that time, independent labels weren't really as big a thing as they are now. Right. Now you see it as a trend, and it's you know it's it's um it's something you see much more. But in that moment, it wasn't a thing. And every single major label said no to Rudy and said no to that album and said no to the song and said no to the project. <laughs> and Rudy and Rick Stevens opened up an independent label, signed me to it, said, let's do it anyway. Let's do it. And look, and what, look what happened. All right. And look what happened with now the movie star. Your first movie, The Man from Toronto. Suavemente, besame, que quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. 
currently out on Netflix. Tell yes. me about the movie. Tell me about Woody Harrelson, because I love him. Woody's and I incredible. think who else did you work with? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. I love Kevin. Oh my gosh. I love Kevin. His comedy show, his stand-up show is incredible. I just saw it here in Miami. And Woody is a legend. Woody, oh, he Woody, is. Woody's incredible. By the way, he knows every Elvis song <laughs> and he plays it darn good on a guitar. And he, he's, he's a character. How fun was it? I mean, you it, played the role of Agent Santoro. Yes, it, no, it was fascinating. And it was such a great experience. I learned so much. Watch Kaylee Cuoco from Big Bang Theory is, oh in, is in that movie as well, which I love. And, you know, I, I just, I remember going to the movie theater by myself. You know, saying one day, one day I'm going to be in a motion picture one day. And that day came and, you know, it was it was better than what I expected. The feeling and just the gratitude I felt of being there. Uh, shot it in Canada. Very cold. I, you know, Toronto's beautiful, but you may not want to go during the winter oh, because yes. it is brutal. It is brutal. But you, but it's so incredible that I would go back. Okay. I, I loved it. People are there. Wonderful. I mean, people as well. there are wonderful. I, I loved it. And, uh, and yeah, there's a there's a, a lot more where that came from. We got big plans on the film side. So your mom must be so proud. Oh my goodness, she's Aww. she's number one fan. I'm sure she is. Aww, I wish you so much luck, and I hope to see you in more movies. Thank you. So All right, much. give me a quick boost, me one little chorus. Oh my God! You took me back. I, Come on. I mean, I, Amor Quédate was it was in that album. Take it away, whichever one you want. It says, it says Amor Quédate, Quédate. Quiero más de tus besos. Necesito tu cuerpo. Hazme el amor, mátame de placer. Oh bueno, <laughs> thank you so much. That's it. Thank you, love. Good luck to you. Thank you. This was fun. This was great. It. Good luck to you. Great stuff. Thank Appreciate you. your time. And thank you for joining us on Lifestyles Plus. We'll see you next time.